The Little Me Too book for men is intended to serve a single purpose. The goal of the book is to get men to distinguish between our larger culture of manhood and their individual sense of who they are. If we can create a little bit of daylight between what we hold as our identity and the larger culture of masculinity that taught us all those things, if we can create a little bit of daylight between those two, it's in that space that we can begin to ask ourselves some questions about why do I believe this about myself? Why do I feel like I have to do things this way? For generations, we've been taught this man box culture, this way of being men. Man box culture is about how much money do you make? How many girls do you get? How much control? How much dominance? How much power do you have? Because it's all about what we do, we have to prove it every day. It doesn't matter how much money you made yesterday, how much did you make today, it doesn't matter you know, how many girls you got yesterday, did you, get, did you get another one today, how's that all working, right? And the way that we've been taught is that we have been bullied and threatened when we fail to perform it in this way. So man box culture is a hierarchical pecking order culture which demands that we perform a fairly narrow set of ideas about what a real man is. All of these man box culture ideas are about what we do, not who we are. Man box culture does not care who we are as individuals. It doesn't care what we bring in terms of our authentic selves, in terms of our experience of the world, in terms of who we are when we connect. None of that matters. And because it doesn't matter, and because of how universal man box culture is, we are essentially interchangeable and disposable. At some point, our ability to continue to succeed at the markers of success in man box culture will falter. We will age out of the ability to chase women. We will age out of the ability to earn money. We will age out of the ability to be competitive in sports. So somewhere out there, after living a lifetime of anxiety about whether we're enough, our failure is waiting for us if those are the markers that we judge ourselves by. The Little Me Too book for men is intended to serve a single purpose. The goal of the